It's actually scary to have a death experience and even more scarier when you survive it because you definitely have a story to tell. Just like the movie Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tells No Tales. Today we will be talking about famous footballers who cheated death in active play. We start with Alexander Arnold of Liverpool. He was involved in a ghastly motor accident just a day before his first game against Everton. This accident happened while he was driving at night. A heavy storm uprooted an electricity bailer that hit his car so hard which made him lost control and slammed but in all good news. Nobody was injured or lost their lives. Fernando is Torres or as popular called the Tormentor was nearly tormented by death when he slammed on the ground awkwardly. This was in a game between Atletico Madrid and Deportivo La Corona. This fall resulted to a serious head injury while Torres immediately was going on consoles. Even his coach Diego Simeo was afraid. This he admitted after the match but thankfully. Players rushed to assist before paramedics' arrival. Luckily it was confirmed shortly that there was not serious injuries after the fall. Let's move back to Euros 2020 when the entire world of football went into shock after Christian Eriksen dropped in the field. Eriksen just stopped and went off just like that. This happened just before half-time. It was the Denmark captain that quickly rushed to check up on the player. Before other players rushed also, they helped deliver first aid before the short arrival of paramedics. It was confirmed that his heart stopped and was restarted by advanced tech. He returned to football right months after thankfully. Let's talk about Raul Reminez. Falling just five minutes into a game due to clash of heads between himself and David Luiz, paramedics treated him and moved him to the hospital. Upon arrival, it was discovered that the player fractured his skull and needed an urgent surgery to save his life. He however returned to play in his game but not without a daughter's condition, where the headgear for the rest of his career. Now, talking of players with headgears, you all remember the famous goalkeeper Peter Cech. He wore that headgear for head protection only not fashion. He suffered an injury to the head in 2006 in a match against Reedy in the early minutes of the game which saw the goalie slamming his head under the knee of a player. He had to undergo surgery for head fracture. He returned after three months and with his precious headgear. Shocking thing about this is Peter Chech doesn't remember anything about the moment or the match that caused the accident. He admitted this himself. Let's go the Samba way. This you know that Neymar Jr. also cheated death while he was a kid. His family crashed due to a crazy storm when returning from an outing at night. His father confirmed that he was stuck in the car but still couldn't find the young star. His wife had already already came out of the car but still couldn't find Neymar. Panicked and scared about what had happened to their baby boy, a passerby helped them in search before discovering the player under the back seat in the car. He was on hot and confirmed by the hospital that he is fine. Good to say Neymar cheated death. We have missed his skills. Did you know that Cristiano Ronaldo suffered a heavy car crash in 2009 when he was in Manchester United? Yes it happened. He woke up late and was trying to beat time to avoid Sir Alex Ferguson's range. So overspeeding with his Ferrari almost cost Ronaldo his life. Thankfully he came out on hot and with no injuries. Now, remember when Ozil and Kalasonic was almost robbed. The player was standing by Ozil's car to men with motorbike attacked with a knife but he fought them off when Ozil watched. In terror, anything bad could have happened to this player. Well the Bozian defender showed that he was just a defender on the pitch. However, Ozil the assist master couldn't assist in this time as he was too shocked about the quick happenings. Now, just recently, Sergio Rico had a very unpleasant experience that almost cost him his life and body. He had an head injury while having a horse race in Spain. The horse slept and fell on the head of the player and leg. Ricky was in a coma for three good weeks. The doctor confirmed that he's lucky to survey the injury. He was discharged from hospital in August. Now finally, there is another Sergio who also cheated death but not Sergio Rico but the friend and former teammate of the legendary Lionel Messi. His is Sergio Aguero. He suffered an issue on his chest against Alaves just months after moving to Barcelona, but the wounds grew to be a more bigger case for Aguero. At first he the doctor confirmed he could return to playing after three months just like Ericsson but no 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 Sergio Aguero case was way worse than Ericsson. He was forced into compulsory retirement, and even if he did cheated dead, Sergio Aguero had a price to pay. He never had to kick the ball leading to him not winning the long-awaited Argentina wish to lift the World Cup. Well, tell us if there's other players who have cheated death and wasn't mentioned and please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more football gist videos. Thank and for watching. Bye for now.